What's up guys? Dash here. And for this video, Pere Officer Chicano. And this is Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Like most commemorative months, Asian Pacific Heritage Month originated in a congressional bill. In June 1977, Representative Frank Horton of New York and Norman Mineta of California introduced a House resolution that called upon the President to proclaim the first 10 days of May as Asian Pacific Heritage Week. The following month, Senator Daniel Inouye and Spark Matsunaga introduced a similar bill to the Senate. On October 5, 1978, President Jimmy Carter signed a joint resolution designating the annual celebration. Twelve years later, President George H. W. Bush signed an extension making the week-long celebration into a month-long celebration. In 1992, the official designation of May as Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month was signed into law. The month of May celebrates the contribution of the Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders in American history, society, and culture. Heritage is more than a collection of clothing styles, religion, food, or art that gives meaning to our origin. Heritage is all about ideas, experiences, thoughts, and beliefs. May was chosen as Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month to commemorate the immigration of the first Japanese to the United States and to mark the anniversary of the completion of Transcontinental Railroad on May 10, 1869. The majority of the workers who laid the tracks were Chinese immigrants. For us in the United States Navy, according to the portrait of Asian Pacific Islander active duty service members, there are almost 23,000 Asian Pacific Islander in the United States Navy. 22% are E6 and above, while 8% are commissioned officers. There are also 22,800 Asian Pacific Islander as Navy civilians as of fiscal year 2019. The following are the notable sailors in the AAPI community. Admiral Harry Harris was born in Japan, reared in Tennessee and Florida, and he took command of the U.S. Pacific Command, U.S. PACOM, May 27, 2015, and became the 24th commander since U.S. PACOM was established in 1947. Lieutenant Susan Ann Cuddy, a Korean-American, served in the United States Navy as member of the WAVES, woman accepted for volunteer emergency service, and became the gunnery officer. And for this video, representing all Filipinos in the United States Navy, Fireman 2nd Class Telesforo Trinidad is the only Filipino in the United States Navy to be awarded the Medal of Honor. Born on 25th November 1890 in Aklan Province, Panay, Philippine Islands, Trinidad enlisted in the United States Navy after the United States took possession of the archipelago in the wake of the Spanish-American War. On January 1915, while steaming in the Gulf of California, as part of the naval patrol to protect the U.S. interests and citizens in Mexico. The captain of San Diego, armored cruiser number 6, decided to conduct a 4-hour full speed and endurance trial to determine if the cruiser could still maintain an officially rated flight speed. At the end of the trial, an obstructive tube of one of the ship's boilers gave away, creating an eventual chain of reaction of other boilers. The first explosion in the number 2 boiler forced Trinidad from the fire room as Ensign R.W. Carey Jr. was closing the door. Trinidad then realized that his crew member, Fireman 2nd Class R.W. Daly, was still inside. Risking his own life, Trinidad re-entered the smoke-filled fire room and carried him out of safety while Ensign Carey secured the door. However, as Trinidad carried Daly through the number 4 fire room, an explosion of the number 3 boiler hit Trinidad, burning him in the face. After seeing Daly to safety, and in spite of his injury, 
Trinidad then assisted in rescuing another injured crew member in the number no. 3 firework. In gratitude for his bravery, the Navy awarded Trinidad the Medal of Honor and a hundred dollar gratuity. Trinidad survived the ordeal and lived a long life, finally passing away at the age of 77 on May 8, 1968 in Imus Cavite, Republic of the Philippines. To me, diversity means having a different perspective whether you experience a fine state of life anywhere in the country or as experience a third world country. Diversity helps us evolve in these hard struggling times. And as a Filipino and part of AIPI community, our contribution is vital to our mission success. And because of our contribution to the U.S. military's history, that it makes me proud to become a United States sailor. So if you want to give a huge shout out to your Asian American Pacific Islander friends, please put their names in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Booyah Navy!